This video is brought to you by Dev Mountain, a coding bootcamp that offers in-person and online courses in a variety of subjects, including web development, iOS development, user experience design, software quality assurance, and Salesforce development. For more information, consult the link in the description below. Continuing on with TensorFlow, and we're gonna be trying to construct the neural network that we've been trying to build uh, for this series. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is we're going to figure out how we can prepare the data. So specifically, how do we go about preparing the data that we have, which is the movie reviews, in a way that we can properly feed it to a neural network. And as I mentioned before, the neural network expects that the input that we give it is all of consistent length. And as we know, every movie review that we see here in the IMDb data set is going to be of a different length. It's not going to be guaranteed that all of the movie reviews are going to be of the same length. So we need to find some way to uh, make the lengths of each of those reviews consistent and uniform across the entire set of training data that we have. And there's a couple ways that we can do that. So I'm going to kind of go over two different ways that we can do it, and we'll pick one way uh, out of those two. So one way that we could do it is we can convert the arrays uh, that we have of movie reviews into vectors of zeros and ones, indicating whether or not a, uh, a word occurred. So for instance, if we had a movie review that had, let's say, the words three and five, so a very short review, right? Because again, remember the, um, the review itself consists of integers, those integers map to words. And imagine that the training data, one of the entries that we got was only two words, and that just mapped to the integers three and five. So what we would do is we would go through, we would create for every single review a list or an array of integers corresponding to either zero and one. And the uh, if the word was present in the list, so in this case, three and five are present, we would put a one there to indicate that that word was present in that review. And otherwise, if that word was not present, we would put a zero. So for this particular review that we have on line 32, this would be a review that would be, uh, we would map this to a length, uh, a list of length 10,000, where the entries three and five have a one, and all of the other entries have a zero. So we essentially have 10,000 dimensional vector for a given review. So if we have, in this case, uh, 25,000 entries for every single piece of training data that we have, because again, we split it from 50,000, what we would have is we would have uh, 25,000, 10,000 dimensional vectors. So probably not the best uh, use of space. This is going to be particularly dense in terms of a space approach, very memory intensive. It's going to, uh, in a more general way, require num words times num reviews size matrix. So it's going to require a matrix of that size to store it. So every single entry is going to be a 10,000 dimensional vector and every single um, it will 10,000 because we limited our vocabulary size to 10,000. That's where that number comes from. So that's probably not going to be particularly attractive just because it's very memory intensive. What we can do alternatively is we can pad each of the arrays. Again, the arrays are going to be the uh, lists of integers that correspond to the reviews so that they all have the same length. And then we can create an integer tensor of that shape, let's say the max length, whatever we define that to be, times however many reviews that we're going to be uh, going over in our training set. And we can use some sort of an embedding layer in the neural network that's capable of handing this shape as the first layer in the neural network. So this is the uh, approach that we're going to go with. We're going to pad each of the reviews, again, which are a list of integers. We're going to pad them by the maximum length. And we're going to define the maximum length in this case to be uh, of 256. So the two, 256 is going to be the maximum length of the review. And if it's any less than that, so if in, in the case of um, you know the review being only 128, letters or sorry words which corresponds to 128 entries of separate words which corresponds to integers we're going to pad the remaining part of that review such that the entire list equals 256. that's going to be our general approach so what we're going to do is we're going to say train underscore data is equal to keras dot preprocessing so these are functions that are going to be accessible to us from the modules we've already imported dot sequence and then dot pad underscore sequence sequences so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be as i said taking a given set of training data which again is a list of lists which is all of the um, reviews we have encoded as integers so that's the train data what we're also going to be feeding this is the uh, pad 
what we want to pad it with, right? So we need to pad each of those movie reviews with something. So in this case, we're going to give that as the optional parameter value. And the pad uh, specific thing that we're going to pad each of these reviews with is pad index of pad. So again, if you remember from the previous video, what we did is we set that equal to zero. So if the movie review that we're given is less than 256 letters, or uh, sorry, I keep saying letters, words, which corresponds to integers, we would pad the remaining part of that to get up to 256 with the pad character, which in this case is zeros. And what we're going to be doing is we're also going to specify that the padding amount or the way in which we're padding is at the end of the movie review. So we're going to say padding is equal to post. And this is going to indicate that we want the padding not at the front, but at the back. And then we're going to also specify the maximum length of the um, of the sample of the given training data of the given review. We want the max length of that to be of size 256. So we want to do the same thing not only with the training data, but also with the test data as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we just did to the training data. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the test data. So I'm just going to change this from train data to test data. So let's just take a look at what we just did, because there's kind of a lot of um, moving pieces and a lot of things that we you know, discussed with words, but didn't really see in code. So let's go ahead and say print uh, length of train underscore data of zero. And let's go ahead and also print out length, oops, let's say length of test underscore data of zero, uh, let's say of one. So what we're doing here is we, we've we taken, actually what I'll do is I'll change this from train test to train. So I'm taking two separate uh, reviews, the first review and the second review, and I'm checking now that we've padded them, now that we've padded them according to the pre-processing steps in the two lines, uh, or at least the two uh, portions of code above here, now that we've done that, what are the lengths of each of these two reviews. Remember, when we printed the links of the reviews before, we got two different lengths. The training data for the first review was, I think, longer than the one for the second review. And what we've done here is we've padded them. So hopefully, if we do this, if we run this line here, I'm just going to clear the terminal there. I'm going to say Python. So I'm going to say Python IMDB. And if we run this here, hopefully what we should see is we should see that both of the links of review one or review zero and review one have the same length. So we should see at the end here 256 and 256, which is the maximum length, and they're appropriately padded. So actually, just to see what we are actually dealing with, let's go ahead and print out train underscore data of zero. So this is actually going to print out the list of integers that corresponds to the first review, where the numbers at the end of that sequence are going to be zeros, because we're going to pad the elements of that list to get up to 256 and the remaining elements as we can see here these remaining elements got us up to the length 256 these components here were the uh, initial part of the review and that is what we have padded at the end there so that's essentially all we wanted to do in this video we've got now our training and test data of a uniform size and what we can do in the next video is we're going to build the neural network from the data that we've constructed. So we've constructed data that's a consistent size, and we're going to actually feed that into our neural network and go from there. So that's it for this video. As always, the code is available on my GitHub. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll catch you in the next video.